You can have a full Hulkbuster party and actually stay in the Hulkbuster for the whole mission as well. It's pretty insane and all thanks to the Darkhold exotic major artifact that you get at the end of the reigning supreme mission chain. Like saying that this fun is actually an understatement, it's really really cool. So in this video I will show you gameplay of this insane tactic and also tell you how you can do it. A like on the video would really help the channel out and let's go. First up a quick reminder that you can still enter my 2000 credit pack giveaway so you don't have to spend money but can still buy things from the marketplace. Just follow the link in the pinned comment for a chance to win and be sure you are a subscriber of the channel before you enter and if you win I will reach out via the email. Yeah it's pretty crazy to see four or three Hulkbusters run around at the same time and it's also super powerful because in this state your team cannot die and also do some super powerful abilities like holding the light attack button so you can easily stun enemies and then follow up with a takedown and just two or more Hulkbusters against any enemy is insane like here we fight this dreadbot that has nothing on us yeah, the game doesn't really know what to do with the multiple Hulkbuster thing as well sometimes. But overall, the enemy will constantly be pushed away, just unable to do anything until you trigger the takedown and then it's just over. Did you by the way know that you can push the Abomination from the roof with one Hulkbuster as we see here in footage from Kalito. He kindly shared this with me and then you have like an insta win and skip the whole fight. Hulkbuster is pretty good and now we found a tactic to summon multiple of them in one mission. The idea came from Tony Bing Gaming and I will leave a link to his channel in the video description. He showed how he can summon two of them in one harm training room. So we looked at this and expanded on it and the fact is that almost your whole team can be endlessly in the Hulkbuster if you play it smart. One key thing is namely that Iron Man can reset the Hulkbuster timer with his support heroic the Arc Overload. If you do that when other Hulkbusters are close then the bar from those Hulkbusters will be full again. As a team player inside a Hulkbuster it's of course smart to not spam special attacks because then the effect will wear off pretty fast. Just keep using regular attacks and heavy attacks and as Iron Man you can also extend the overall duration of every Hulkbuster with the hyper reactor skill and also the hyper coils skill so then you have 10 extra seconds which is pretty huge. So those things are overall smart to make this tactic better but to get the multiple Hulkbusters flying around in the first place you want to get the Darkhold exotic major artifact that you again get at the end of the reigning supreme mission chain you know the longest mission chain in the game that should do a ton of stuff it's overall pretty straightforward and then for the final step you are asked to do this elite heroic hive that has 14 floors after beating that you get the artifact in your inventory that after upgrading it once unlocks the second effect of the active ability that lets you when you are over the 50% willpower so health drain willpower to critical levels and then charge all heroics. So then you can put down the Hulkbuster for a teammate and then wait for that person to get in because you cannot have two Hulkbuster activation points active at one time. So you really have to wait before one player is inside the Hulkbuster and moving around before you can summon one again. But yeah of course the ultimate is on cooldown so you need to activate the artifact to refill the ultimate and they can throw down another Hulkbuster so now you have two or one for you and a friend. But in this instance we of course want more Hulkbusters running around. So to do that we want to go down. Because the cooldowns of these major artifacts count as a debuff that goes away when you go down and are revived. So then when you get back up you can immediately use the artifact ability again and get in the Hulkbuster yourself or put down another for another person in your team. Don't forget to use the arc overload to refresh the time for everyone who is already in a Hulkbuster and then enjoy a party of Hulkbusters. Again I had a ton of fun recording this footage like going through missions and I'm sure we will do it way more often. There are a few more extra things to note though, namely that going into a Hulkbuster yourself will also reset the cooldown of a major artifact 
So you can do that too instead of going down because of course going down in most situations reduces the number of stars you get for a mission and that impacts the reward that you get at the end. So overall like going with more than two Hulkbusters at the same time is more for fun and not really for that rank you have at the end of the mission. While two active Hulkbusters at one time and then one Iron Man trying to use the support heroic as much as possible to keep the effect going is something I totally see as a pretty pro tactic. Like then those two players are indestructible and can cause a ton of havoc, interrupt enemies, etc, etc, and Iron Man can just reset the timer pretty easily. Not sure if this is what Crystal Dynamics had intended, so like maybe they want to tone it down a little bit, but on the other hand, this is an artifact that you get like really at the end of the game after the most challenging mission chain, so... That it's powerful makes a ton of sense. You bet that we will be trying this tactic in the upcoming Aim Secret Lab, the raid type of activity that should launch any moment now where teamwork is required and if this is not teamwork then I don't know what is. Like fingers crossed that this tactic will then still be possible. Other things to keep in mind with this tactic is that there will be missions where you are forced out of the Hulkbuster like during certain transitions. So during combat you can stay in this suit but then for example when going to a next objective indoor and taking an elevator you will have to get out. So then you have to like rebuild the multiple Hulkbusters again. Another thing that is also interesting is that you want to use as Iron Man all your heroics before using the artifact because if you upgrade this artifact for a second time you unlock the level 3 perk that is this damage explosion that will trigger with full health and when one or more heroic is ready to use. So you overall want to make sure that you are above the 50% health with Iron Man and also have all your heroics on cooldown before you use the artifact ability. Otherwise, other effects will trigger and you will not be able to get all your heroics back. It's actually a pretty complicated artifact if you like look at it for the first time. I wanna do a video on it like really, really soon where I go way more in depth and also show you like multiple capabilities. For now though, I already wanted to share you this insane full Hulkbuster team tactic. And of course, if you found interesting things in the game, then totally reach out to my input at giraffe.com email address or let me know in the comments of this video. Subscribe for way more Marvel's Avengers content. Again, a video on exotics and those artifacts is coming up really, really soon. And I will also keep you up to date when there are new updates. A like on the video would really help the channel out. And if you wanna level up fast in the game, then I got a guide for that up too. You can watch it by clicking on the screen. For now though, I will speak to you next time and goodbye.